Hi everyone, my name is Sonia and thank you so much for taking my class. I'm here to show you how you can install my custom scripts in Blender 4.2. Now, why am I doing this specifically for Blender 4.2? Well, because the Blender devs have done quite a bit of changes to Blender. Specifically, if you're curious about what they've done, if you click on the download link on the Blender website, and if you scroll down, you can see what's new. So if you click on new and Blender 4.2, click on that. And if you scroll down, you can see that, the, by the way, here's a nice video uh, that recaps all the changes they've done. I highly recommend you check that out. They always do a great job with these videos. But if you keep scrolling down, you see some amazing changes that they've added and done. These are all awesome, but I'm not really going to focus on those because those are not the main reason why I'm doing another installation video. The reason why I'm doing it is this right here. So starting with Blender 4.2, add-ons and themes have been bundled together and they're now uh, known or they're now called extensions. And this means that everything that we've done previously, like how we've installed scripts previously in the earlier Blender versions, no longer works in the new Blender version or in Blender 4.2 and probably most likely moving forward. That is why I'm recording a new video to show you how you can install the latest scripts in the latest 4.2 Blender version. All right, having said all that, again, I highly recommend that you check out this page, read up on the changes. You can do that on your own time. So for now, let's get started and let's walk you through step by step on how you can get Blender installed and also my custom scripts installed in, again, Blender 4.2. Step one, download and install Blender. All right, let's start by going to blender.org. That is the Blender website. Click on the download link and click on download Blender 4.2 or whichever version you see here. Click on that and then wait for that to finish. If you are a Mac OS user or a Linux user, you can just click on here and you can pick the corresponding version that you need. Once Blender has downloaded, simply double click on the icon, wait for it to compute the space requirements and then click on next. You want to accept the terms on next again. Uh, here you can specify where you'd like your uh, Blender to be uh, installed. I generally just go with the default location and click next. Click install. And then simply wait for this to finish installing. All right, so this finished. Now I'm gonna click on finish. Now that you have Blender installed, do me a favor, just double click on it and open it up to make sure everything is working as it should. If everything is working correctly, this is what you should see. You can just take a look. We're not going to do anything right now. I just want to double check that this is what it looks like. So this is all good to go. And then we're just going to hit close. All right, step two, download my custom scripts. You can find my scripts on my personal website. So if you go to soniachristoff.com, and then you navigate to resources and you want to go to class intro to blender so click on that and then you can scroll down here and right in here you can find all the custom script files as well as the installation video as you can see i'm still recording this video so i have uh, i've added a little note in here that the instruction video is work in progress uh, obviously i'm recording it right now so you'll see uh, this will go away once I've finished it. And then this upload link will also get updated to the 4.2 installations. So simply click on this link right here. This will open up a Google Drive link. Then click on these three dots and click on download. Once you have those files, simply go ahead and extract them all. I'm just going to extract them to my desktop. And here they are. Once you open these files, you're going to see a 4.2 folder, you're going to see a license copy, and then you're going to see three additional folders, a config, an extensions, and a scripts folder. Step three, we're going to copy our custom scripts and we're going to paste them into the user app data folder. Now that's a different location from previous installation videos that I've done. So if you took my class at a previous time and you just want to update your scripts, please note that this is a different location, very important. All right, I'll walk you through it step by step. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab here in our file explorer, and we're going to go to this PC, click on the C drive, and we want to go to 
our users. So click on users. You want to click on your username. And then you want to click on the app data folder. If you don't see this folder on your file explorer, then go up to your view options, click on that, go to show, and make sure that you have hidden files enabled. This is very important. If this is not enabled, then this folder will not appear. So please double check to make sure hidden items are enabled. And then simply double click on app data. Then you want to go to roaming. Then you want to click on Blender Foundation on Blender and then click on Blender 4.2. And this is where we want to copy our custom scripts folders into. If you don't see the a Blender folder or the Blender 4.2 folder, then that's because you didn't open up Blender like we did previously. So please take a moment right here. Just double click and open up Blender, close it, and then you should see these folders. All right. So I'm again back in Blender 4.2. I'm in that folder. Then I'm going to switch back over to my custom scripts. I'm simply going to select them and I'm going to copy them with Control C and then I'm going to paste them with Control V. Now I should get a pop up message like this. The destination has two files with the same names. That is correct. And I do want to replace them. I'm basically telling Blender that I want to replace the default user configuration or the default startup Blender file with my own custom startup file. That's all I'm doing here. Let's click replace, wait for that to finish. And then we can close all of this. And now your Blender scripts should be installed. I'm now going to talk about how you can install these scripts if you're on Mac. And then I'm going to show you how you can double check to make sure everything has installed properly, uh, as well as some other troubleshooting tips. I will also show you uh, what the correlating default hotkeys are in case you prefer to use those than my custom scripts. So all that information will be at the end of this video. If you're on a Mac, then you obviously don't have an app data folder, but you do have a library folder. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Mac myself, so I was not able to test this and I also am not able to really show you, but give this a try and please let me know if it works for you or not. Essentially, what you need to do is you need to access your library folder. Uh, if you can't see the library folder or you just don't know how to access it, then please do me a favor, just do a quick Google search. Uh, as you can see here, there are plenty of videos with instructions on how you can access that folder. Uh, I, I unfortunately don't have a, a Mac, so I can't show it to you myself. Once you've located the library folder, click on application support and click on Blender. At this point, I'm not sure whether the Blender version number will show up for you or not. If it does, then double click on that and open it up. If it doesn't, stay in the Blender uh, folder. And then you want to copy the custom scripts into that Blender folder that we've just opened in the library directory. Give that a try. That is all you should have to do to install my custom scripts. Then simply double click on Blender to open it up. And let's see what your Blender should look like now. And if everything worked out correctly or, or if everything installed correctly, this is what your Blender should look like when you open it up. So I'm just going to click on my 3D viewport here. I'm just going to tumble around a little bit. And to double check to make sure everything really installed properly, just hit your space bar and double check to see if this pie menu pops up. If this does not pop up, then something went array and you may have to uh, manually install your hotkeys, which you can do by going to edit, go to preferences, go to key map. And then if this didn't install correctly, then this will probably say blender here. It should say 4.2 hotkeys. So if it says Blender here, then something didn't work out correctly. You can manually import your hotkey file by going to import. And then you can simply navigate to the desktop where we installed the custom scripts. Go to scripts, go to startup, and select the 4.2 hotkeys. Click on import. I'm not going to do that here since mine installed correctly. I'm just going to switch this over. And then once you've clicked on import, this should switch over to 4.2 hotkeys. And then you just want to come down here to the pie menu, just save the preferences to be on the absolute save side that everything saved and you should be good to go. If you run into any other issues, 
uh, then you can go back to my website, again on the same page as before, the online class page, where you download the scripts and you access the video link. And if you just scroll down, I have a running into problem section. Uh, take a look at those and see if those help you resolve your issue. If you prefer to use the Blender default hotkeys, then you can also click on this uh, question right here. This will show you all my custom hotkeys and the correlating default hotkeys if they exist. Not every hotkey that I have mapped will have a hotkey in Blender by default. So you can just scroll through there and you can read a little bit more about the custom scripts and what they do. All right, and I think that's about it. So thank you so much for joining me for this installation video. I hope you enjoy the class and I hope you enjoy using Blender. Till next time.